So today we're going to check out this Marshall Super Base 100 capture pack that I just got from Amalma. And what we're going to do today is actually use the new Cortex Control app to download and check out these new captures. So we can kind of do a dual purpose of this video of continuing to check out the new desktop app for the Quad Cortex. So what we've got here is a pack of 15 captures. You can see they're all have cab included. Most of them are using a Marshall cabinet. There's this one clean one that's using a Fender 2x12. But they're all built with cabinets. They're not DI captures, um, which I find interesting because even if you look at Amalgam's documentation here, it says generally DI models together with good IR sound, most authentic to the reference source, at least according to our test results. Yet, They've released this capture pack and it only includes the captures with the cabinets included. So, I'm not sure what's going on there. I would also think it's easier to make the DI captures because you don't have to worry about the cab and the mic, and the mic placement, and the mic preamp, and all that kind of stuff. But we're going to check these out and see how they sound. So, let's go over to my Cortex Cloud account. You can see I'm on my profile here. If you're not familiar, the way this works when you buy captures is, at least with Amalgam, is you follow them, they follow you, and then they're able to share captures with you. And so if I go to my shared neural captures, you can see all the captures that they've shared with me. I'm going to sort these by name. So you can see all the packs I've bought. The Benford, it's another pack I just bought. We'll do another video on that. Here's the car that I already did a video on. I'll put the link to it here. Let's go down to those marshals and you'll be able to see there's a bunch here that already have a check mark. I've already kind of gone through and grabbed the ones that I want to check out. Um, for the most part, I'm not interested usually in checking out the bright, um, my friends are the clean, bright, and things like that. Usually, balanced is as kind of trebly as I want to get. So, I've already marked all the ones I want. So, what I need to do now is open up my Cortex Control app. Here it is. This doesn't look good. Let's try that again. That's better. Interesting. It is still beta after all. And one thing you'll see here is my quad cortex device is in standby mode. So I can wake it up from the app, which is cool. And here we are. So you can see where I'm on my uh, preset, my Kraken preset. <laughs> So let's go ahead and check out the capture. So what we're going to do is we're going to go create a new reset. We'll go ahead and save this with a name. And it's a guitar. I will not be sharing this to the cloud because these are paid for captures, so I won't be able to share it. All right. So let's do a couple of things. Let's throw a little bit of reverb on the end. Not too heavy, just a little bit of ambience. And maybe even a little bit of delay. We'll stick with the mono. And we'll keep it down. All right, so let's start off with, the first thing we need to do is go to the directory Go to our captures. We're going to go to downloads. So here you can see all the Marshall captures that I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight all of them. And I'm go over here and say save to my captures. And you can see it's moved 13 captures to my captures. So if we go back to the grid, 
Okay, so now that we've added those captures to our captures on the device, we can start to create the preset. So today what I'm using is actually a parts caster that I built. I have a Stratocaster single coil in the neck, and then I have kind of a vintage humbucker in the bridge. So let's go ahead and add in capture. Let's start out by looking at some of the clean captures. So we go down to the Marshall. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Let's try this cab two. So this is the one with the Fender 2x12. Let's hear what it sounds like. Well, for one thing, it sounds very quiet. Usually what I would do is I would just pump up the volume of the capture. But since we're going to be using a lot of captures and switching back and forth, I don't want to have to keep adjusting the volume of each one to hear it. So let's just adjust kind of the total volume here. That's our. That's not a bad sound. Let's compare it to the Marshall cap. Another thing that I've noticed with these captures that include the cabinets is that they tend to be heavy on the base. So I'm going to add in an EQ filter. And I'm going to put the low frequency up. We'll start off around 100 and see how that does. And while we're at it, we'll go ahead and bring this down. I actually like to keep this around 6. So that works. And let's go ahead and we're in scene. Let's make this our clean scene. We'll make it blue. Go up here. What I like to do when I'm doing scenes is I turn the device off and then I assign the scene and I turn it back on. So that way it's off by default on all scenes and it's only on for this one. So if I was to switch to CB, it would be off. So we've got our... All right, are there any other cleans that we want to check out? Let's check out this one here. This one a little better. That's pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and go to scene B. Let's try an edge sound. All right, so we'll go down to our marshals. Let's find the edge. We have two edges to two, three edges to choose from. I usually like the, the warm, so let's start with that. Check it out. Right. 
I like that best, but I still think there's too much bass. Put this up a little bit. Let's go back to this and once again we turn it off we assign the scene turn it on call this edge i'll make it green <laughs> i'm going to shift these around this is cool. So this is how you can drop things around. We're gonna go across the bottom. Let's go to the scene. This one's gonna be our let's call it our crunch. And let's go add in a new capture here. Let's see what kind of kind of crunchy rhythm sound we can get. So we've got we'll try the crunch warm. has a little more presence to it. The other ones seem a little dialed back. So turn off, add a scene, turn it back on. For now, we've got our scenes here. And let's find a lead tone. This one here, we'll capture. Yeah, well, let's use the one that says lead. It's not bad, it's kind of loud and hissy. Uh, let's try the vibe. I just realized this. So you can click it, and when it's blinking like that, it switched it. But it hasn't changed it on the preset. We'll go with that one. And what we'll do is, typically what I'll do is I'll take that, and then I'll mix it with some kind of drive up front. 
So let's go over here and we're gonna add in an overdrive and we'll just add in a boost. Not too much gain. We'll roll the treble off a little bit. And push it a little bit. we're going to go to modes configuration. We're going to put stomp above the scenes. And let's go ahead and we're going to once again go in and unassign. So this one's been assigned to A. I just go click it and it turns it off. So it's kind of annoying that we need to do this. I'll have to check to see if there's a faster way to do this. It would be best if it didn't default these at all, in my opinion. That's just me. We may think different, but it'd be really nice to be able to tell the quad cortex, hey, don't auto default these blocks to any specific stomp. And this one, I'm going to assign to A. So now I can be on any preset. Oops, hear that hissing? You know what's going on? I forgot to set this to be scene specific. nice set of captures. I need to balance the volume a little bit, so let's go look at this clean. We'll give this one a little more of a boost. I should be boosted anyway. Boosted a little too much. save that. And so those are some of the captures for this Marshall Super Bass 100. I think it's a really nice sound. It's, it's definitely the Marshall sound, right? I hope you found this helpful if you were considering this capture pack. And thanks for watching.